Yeah, only kidding. Uh, I think there's only one decision we can make here, and that's based on innocence before proven guilty. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. We had a staring contest and the Rat Eye Queen flinched. 24 Paragon for that. I think you should get a bit of both, really. I mean, that is kind of going completely over everyone's heads. We're making a decision either way. I mean, you don't really have a right to make it. No matter if you are a Spectre, your authority is technically unlimited, but wasn't designed for situations like that. Yeah, that's the price of being an ideologue or an idealist. That's a mantis armor, but heavy. Um, is that sometimes your hands are tied. You know, when you're given a grey area like that, we can't really for certainty say she's bad. And therefore we can't move against that. You've got to have all our facts right before um, making a decision. And given the we only had two options, we're forced to let her go. So, yeah, I think Rex has the best reaction to that if you let her go, and uh, he says, you know, great bugs are writing songs about you, remember you'll live to regret this. <laughs> He's probably right, but we'll find out in Mass Effect 2 to some degree, and definitely in Mass Effect 3. Now, the hot laps. We have to get into those somehow. Through here? Yes. Now, interesting to note is you can do the hot laps before, before that, but if you do, then Vitralis on um, Benezia's orders kills everyone in the um, scientist area, apart from Han Ola, who survives regardless, poor chap. Right, what's happening here? Okay. Uh, yes, Yaroslav. Tartakovsky. I'll talk to him in a second, but first I want to proceed into the room beyond. And should open. Yeah. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Right. Uh... How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry. The sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. <sighs> Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. Great. Are there any survivors in here? Lady Benezia, an executive secretary of Binary Helix, is on the operations deck. There are no other living crew members within the lab structure. <laughs> I don't think she's living at the moment. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach and laboratory pod Gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. I need information on the Neutron Purge. The Neutron Purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. What exactly does this thing do? The Purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons, this radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. We would be wise to avoid touching any controls without reading the instructions. <laughs> it's always a good idea to RTFM, ma'am. <laughs> to what? <laughs> yeah, RTFM. Look it up if you don't know it. But, uh, let's initiate the purge. Sounds like something we need. Yeah, no, uh, initiate purge, not investigate. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Uh. Um, six Semper Tyran That is not the correct code. Please report to security for arrest and interrogation. Will do. Who would have those codes? 
Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, oh. or any executive officer of Binary Helix. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. Yeah, so we have Yaroslav here. And yeah, he's just sitting there, nonchalantly. He's definitely gonna survive this one. Are you here to secure the situation? That's right. I'm a Council Spectre. Who are you? I am Yaroslav Tartakovsky, the Operations Director. I would stand and shake hand, but... Uh, hmm. You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? I don't understand anything yet. What were you doing here? Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. They brought it here to wake it up? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. <laughs> I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. This is fascinating, but we don't have time to chat. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <laughs> I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will give Mira Behind you. Struck... <laughs> yeah, we could have probably done something for him there. Yes, uh, died of a broken heart, I think. <laughs> okay, uh, oh god, we got something other than our shotgun effects. Both of you died. Okay. Wonderful, he's poisoned me. Hmm. Okay, that seemed to recover the poison. Now we've got a bit of a sticky wicket to deal with. Let's just uh, check our stuff. Explosive Raikou, come and scan it. Okay, uh, I want a decent grenade rather than foreign and gas. High explosive will do. Also want to ex explode. No, I want to uh, upgrade our abilities. So what would be useful here? Um, well, advanced adrenaline burst. That will help slightly, very slightly. Uh, how, was, how much does that help? Uh, 90 seconds. Right, okay, cool. Um, uh, don't really need a barrier. Let's bring up Shock Trooper a bit. About to get damage protection once we hit that level. In fact... No, we'll wait. Uh, Caden. Let's think what would help you. Let's at least get a uh, barrier up to advanced. And for master lift, I think. I'll take master throw soon. Liara, um, I think advanced barrier. Got master singularity, so master lift. And we'll upgrade electronics a bit. Won't help out here, but will in the long run. Say so before doing this. Online. How can I help you? Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input 8750200079. Code Omega local execution. <laughs> Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Okay, now a bunch of rep might come out. Go 
we have to be willing to and ready to deal with them. So, they are at singularity before you die or anything. You guys behind there, because you're going to get hit. We don't want that now, will we? You can explode on me all you like, because you can't really hurt me. Okay, and sniper, I think. Okay, another one exploding on us. Okay, let's throw a grenade out. Another grenade. Okay, um, we are at singularity up there. Okay. Right, uh, lift him up. Okay, gotta make a break for it now. I think we're clear. Just about. Yep, yeah, made it. Luckily you just have to reach the lift, that's all. And off it goes. Right, so all done here. No one's even going to try and stop us from getting back on the tram. So, yeah, successful mission overall. I'm sure the council will be very interested to hear what we uh, discovered at P15 and how we handled the situation. But they'll be pleased, I, I highly doubt. Okay, and anticlimactic ending on tram. Should be going back to the ready room or the com room or whatever it is. A place where we all sit around and talk. Our next move, Commander. Head for the Mew Relay. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, commander. We're done here. Crew, dismissed. Novaria report is away, commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? <laughs> patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, commander. Commander, do not cut me off like last time. I failed to find it amusing. Disconnect. Yep. Save the sermon. I'm just here to follow up on my report. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Navaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? Uh, three? No, four. <laughs> this is no joke, Commander. The Rachni were one of the greatest threats the galaxy ever faced. Whoops. And we're out. Yep, not the best uh, time after coming up from freezing of area to confront us over that. Anyway, um, yep, so we saved the race from extinction and um, killed Benazio. Got some more info on Saren. Next time we'll be, you know, pursuing our, our race against time by doing a load of side quests. Then we'll be heading to Vermeer. I'm going to reapply for Spectre training. We'll probably kill my father, but I've got to try. You weren't there, Ambassador. It was my call. I did the right thing. Really? I'm glad you're an expert in a species we know virtually nothing about. Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. First you're gonna tell me why this place is overrun with Thorian creepers. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. 
I've heard all I need to. 